are scholarly journals. Scholarly journals publish original research findings, discussions of theory, and critiques or reviews of existing research. Scholarly journals are important because they provide experts within a certain field a forum to communicate current research and further an area of academic knowledge, often using a rigorous process called peer review. Well, what is peer review? Peer review is a process by which academic research and study is subjected to review by a group of other scholars or researchers in that field. Authors submit manuscripts to journals, which may be forwarded to a group of scholars or experts in that field, who will review the work and critique it. What are they looking for? The peer reviewers are checking to see whether the material is appropriate for the subject coverage of that journal. They're also looking for appropriate background research, and also accurate science or mathematical calculations. They are also looking for well-supported arguments. What happens next in this process? Sometimes the authors are asked to make revisions, sometimes extensive, to their articles prior to publication. This process ensures that the article meets the high standards of the journal and the profession or field of study. Why go to all this trouble? Basically, the scholarly review process ensures that the sources are more reliable or credible than those written and published by a single author who may or may not be an expert on the topic they are writing about. This creates an increasingly reliable body of knowledge over time. So what does a scholarly journal look like? The author's affiliation is listed. You can tell whether or not this person knows something about this topic. The articles are often quite lengthy, and they often use a very technical vocabulary. And basically the same basic structure or format is followed for almost all the scholarly journal articles. That basic format of the academic journal article includes an abstract, an introduction, the literature review, methods and data collections, and an analysis and discussion of the results. There's also the discussion that explains what the results mean, the conclusion that tells you what was learned, and a bibliography that describes what that lists what research was consulted. The abstract is a brief summary of the article, which discusses what was studied and often includes the overall conclusions. The introduction discusses the topic and the scope of the article. The literature review discusses prior research or theories concerning the topic. The methods and data collection describes the methods used to gather the data and it is presented in enough detail that peer reviewers can evaluate the methods used and subsequent researchers can attempt to replicate and confirm the findings. The analysis and results presents the findings of the study. The discussion and conclusion sections interpret the findings in relation to a, the original hypothesis or research question, basically discuss, discusses whether the thesis was supported or disproved. It also raises questions about certain aspects of the study for further research, and finally it presents implications for current and future practices. The bibliography identifies the sources that provided the authors with prior knowledge or assumptions about the topic. It provides the reader with a list of other research on the topic or further sources to consult. So how do you best read a journal article? Does it sound like a silly question? It really isn't. You don't need to read a journal article from start to finish. You want to read the abstract first, see if it is relevant to your research question. Next, read the introduction to get more detail about what is being studied or discussed. And then you want to read the conclusion to see how the study turned out. So what next? If you want to review the article in much more depth, you can analyze the methodology to see if the study was structured in such a way as to produce useful results. You can also review the bibliography to see if 
other reliable sources were consulted and follow up by perusing some of those resources. If you have any further questions about how to identify or use a scholarly journal article, get in touch with your instructor or a reference librarian. Scholarly journal articles may look intimidating at first glance, but if you understand how they're structured and how best to get at the information you need, you'll be able to understand and evaluate more information and research than you ever thought possible.